Eagle money and gold, the enticement of gold, and the big question whether gold has real value or not. And this currently, as it is clearly shown, has been driven by so-called market forces. What is market forces? Is whoever is forcing the market, and that can stand this, the longest and the strongest so that they can influence the final agreement between a willing seller and a willing buyer. You'll see these things happen also in the property markets because uh, when a house is being sold, it is dependent on what the seller and the buyer is willing to do and whoever stands strongest ends up winning and the same thing happens with any commodity in any form, point of value. The big fascinating thing is obviously that there are those that are quite capable because they have enough. They're quite capable of leading everyone on and then suddenly stop participating, driving prices down dramatically and in this process ending up with the valuables making it even more valuable but their particular force they have in the market having a massive implication a massive role in determining what is value and what is real now being subject to such forces obviously makes the smaller player in the market one that is continuously in a form of anxiety and uncertainty and skimming, trying to get information to find out which way the market forces will go. Equal money obviously is a different kettle of fish when it comes to willing giver and willing receiver because in equal money you are no longer a willing buyer and a willing seller you are a willing giver and a willing receiver you are under agreement to have a sustained value for your money system that is based on life it is an exchange it does not accumulate worth and it doesn't diminish in worth it is simply equal to life so what happens is that the total system of morality the total system of living force the decision making process the reason and meaning for life the reason and meaning for being well, for what one do and why one do it everything gets determined and is in fact predetermined as it should be like the hair that is counted on your head you have an absolute predetermination of what is value and there are no longer market forces at play you have a predetermined way of producing food a predetermined way of dealing with everything on earth and your support base and how one sustain this world a predetermined way and how one develop the mind within a newborn so that they become a proper part of this reality without all the secret alleys and personality disorders that is currently being developed purely to have all kinds of so-called forces playing around creating a form of instability in the world which is just a form of insanity and madness between the power play of the criminal powerful and uh, weakling uh, followers so there is a massive change that will be arising with an equal money system because first of all 
equal money will exist between as agree, agreement between equals which give to each other the right to life and the right of equality the right to resource and the right to happiness and is supporting each other to attain that and to have that as a consistent part of this uh, experience this living reality because we, I mean understand we are born and we die so everybody is going to die so nobody is going to be here forever and you are going to prepare the way for the children to come so there is a responsibility and this responsibility must be born just like when Bo bring a child into life and love in itself as love thy neighbor must be reflected in every part of the system that exists in this reality and that is only possible if there is a no longer forces that can be manipulated in secret through the back chat mind system of multiple personality possession we will not even call it a disorder because it is far more than a disorder it is a possession it is a belief it is a faith and that is this these kind of beliefs that has created the idea that there is a market system that and a market force that at work and that is created a religion and that is made even out of gold the religion many if they really have to investigate the context of what is faith and belief their very faith in gold has created the religion and that has driven the prices of gold up and it will drive it up further but it is actually based in fear the very starting point for investing in gold is a fear of survival again it's driving from a perspective of the negative and then claiming what we are presenting as negative while the very existence of everything that everyone participate in is because of their absolute fear of the negative we are presenting the ultimate answer with the Ekwon money system in terms of establishing er, for the first time actually on earth the actualized consideration that all life because it comes from the same source which is the earth in co-creation with the sun is in fact equal because what you consist of, of how much of the substance or what the relationship is of the substance that determine who and what you become while you are on earth whether it is a blade of grass or whether it is human it makes no difference you are equally endowed from the principle of life which is predetermined in form I mean in individuality and therefore a system is required where those with seemingly more power within the system have greater responsibility and are in fact the ones that must do the service and therefore if one see you'll have this fascinating relationship between what is on earth and the human and uh, although human seemingly is dominant the human in fact isn't the human is a slave and is in fact dependent completely on everything that the earth provides the animals and the plants and all the bugs and the enzymes and every little thing that you cannot even see with your eyes are the real forces at play in this reality not gold not market forces not the futures market not the money system in fact the real forces are the physical it's those things that co-create that work together the real co-creators of this reality the human are very far behind it because we haven't even understood the most basic principles of co-creation yet and that will be developed through an equal money system where one will become a willing giver and a willing receiver equal and one and thus you will create equality through the very way that you are living and the way you are actually endowing your neighbor as yourself as equal and you are endowing all parts of the physical world as a custodian where you care and actually consider and understand how it operates it is a massive change the human race for the first time under an equal system will become truly intelligent truly benevolent 
truly, truly gracious, truly great. And in that, be humble and be the foundation for a society that will be come in time, heaven on earth. And this is all possible in one lifetime. Therefore, don't wait. Get on, get on it and join us. Don't waste your time in investing in gold. Invest in life. Invest in the equal money system. Find ways to support it. Find ways to bring about an equal money system. Make sure that you start to investigate and learn how it will operate. What is possible? How can you contribute? How can you participate? How can one use the political system to bring about a change that once and for all will bring dignity to earth and to all living things? Then you can say you are the image and likeness of God. If God exists, obviously, that is quite a different debate that is irrelevant within the context of the problems that is faced on earth and that must be corrected within the ability and the will of the human race. Join us.